I am sweating. and tis the season so i did an instagram story poll as of lately asking you guys what you rather watch first would you rather watch a 200 dollars target store haul that is holiday and christmas themed or would you rather watch a container store haul and i actually thought the container store haul would win just because like i've been more into home decor and home organization lately on insta stories but how can we argue everybody loves target including me i did go ham and spend 200 dollars. i didn't even bother to look at how much things were because i actually have no Christmas decor in this house at all like I have nothing I have one Christmas tree that was donated to me by my friend thank you T essentially I've spent zero dollars on Christmas decor so far until now let's see what I bought spontaneously and we're gonna review is the product worth it is it worth the price and is it worth keeping to use year-round so without further ado let's get on with the unboxing and before I go on with the unboxing I wanted to introduce real quick shameless plug that a brand sent me this little pen that is pretty much a box cutter but it's safe so it's not a knife i've actually been really scared of using real box cutters with the knives because i'm just scared like if you're unboxing something and your hand slips you can actually cut yourself and i don't want to do that this one is actually made of a plastic right here and i just thought this was a super cool product to show you guys because i feel like i've never seen this in my life i got sent this relatively when i moved in and that was perfect timing because this is so much better than your average pair of scissors so yeah real quick promo to slice right here for sending me this because this is magical someone got lazy because most of them are looking this nice and this one is just not comparing but we're here to review products not boxes so the very first product i want to show you guys is something i opened before we started this unboxing haul because i was doing a photo shoot with wendy when she came over for her belated birthday in november i needed some quick christmas decor so i grabbed something real fast from one box it happened to be this very 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 cute pom-pom white christmas tree this is absolutely worth it in my opinion because it serves as like a really really cute and minimal centerpiece it's so soft like a stuffed animal i just feel like this is so unique and so adorable you cannot part with this this is like owning a little small dog that you cannot give away like you just cannot give this away softness is 10 out of 10 cuteness is 10 out of 10 price 10 out of 10 in my opinion because i'm someone who is willing to pay if i really like an item this was 15 dollars. i don't personally think that's too pricey i think it would start getting pricier if it was 20 or above 15 dollars was a pretty fair price in my opinion so let me know in the comments below if any of these prices are outrageous to you or if anything is worth it this is adorable so we're gonna leave this in the background y'all yo yo you're yo it's christmas bitches wow it doesn't even fit in the frame this is a white berry garland you can hang above your mantle or the fireplace i saw this from the great gabs if you guys don't follow her she's an orange county lifestyle and fashion blogger her page is so so cute you guys need to check it out she had this christmas garland on her entryway table and it was so so beautiful i fell in love instantly and i knew i had to buy it and thanks to her she linked it so i knew it was from target right after that i got my own which was similar to what i wanted i wanted something with a more minimal touch as in it has like like little white accents or berries this is a six foot long needle eucalyptus and white berry garland thirty dollars is definitely on the pricier side if it looks good on my mantle i will definitely keep it because i don't have anything christmas decor related this is a piece that wraps around the entire christmas theme together price is definitely high in my opinion for just plastic leaves but i will keep it if it looks really good this is the stocking holder so you know on your fireplace or mantle you need to hang your stocking but you don't have anything to pin it or tie it up with so you literally just place this on your mantle and then you can hang the stocking from here so this is sick this comes in a set of two for twelve dollars again kind of pricey but i also find it kind of essential i bought the really clean and minimal ones they had different patterns they actually had some stocking holders with like a statue of a snowflake or a christmas tree or a bear or something on it and that was just a little too flashy in my opinion i wanted something really plain i can hide with the garland on top of it oh ho, ho, merry christmas to me wow this is much bigger than i thought i thought it was literally going to be a quarter of this i was actually planning to put it on a table or something but seeing how big this is it's kind of like bigger than my table i did want some kind of calendar that counts down to christmas and this is something i can use year after year after year when i'm shopping on target i just get excited by the look and i don't even look into the details this lights up over here that is freaking sick and then they have removable numbers so you can 
just change the day as so when the countdown to Christmas applies. What I also wanted to mention was, do you know those calendars that count down to Christmas, but they're the blocks? I really do not like the block ones. They're actually really annoying to set up. Like you have to take the block out and then you have to find the number you're looking for and then put it back in. I think this is so much more easier, but that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Would you rather have a block calendar or a poster calendar like this? Try me. Yo. You're out of battery though. $25. Well, it says 25. Like, what the hell? I actually think that's worth it for what I received. You get a flashing calendar with LED lights and you can remove the calendar numbers easily. And it's generally a pretty big, generous size. I would consider it a fair price. So this box, whoever packed it, didn't give a shit. And they just chucked like five to seven items in here without any bubble wrap, without any tissue paper. So kudos and thank you to that person who didn't give a shit about my package. I am the type of person who is super obsessed with cute little plushies. I was one of those people who had the Beanie Baby Squad. Like back when McDonald's had Beanie Babies on their Happy Meal, I was really crazy about that. And I think my family went to McDonald's kind of often back then. It was just an easy meal. So my mom would drive us to McDonald's. I always got a new Beanie Baby. And you're gonna find this fact kind of weird about me. I played with Beanie Babies with Barbie clothes. So like I did play Barbie when I was younger, but I didn't love Barbie. It kind of freaked me out to be honest. The clothes on Barbie Barbie fit Beanie Babies perfectly. It worked and it was less creepy. It was more cute because Beanie Babies are adorable. Okay, I just went on a really random tangent because this isn't a Beanie Baby, but it just reminded me of my childhood days. I don't care how much this costs. This is so adorable that this is here to stay. Wow, its wing is like really soft. Like I am a fan of this craftsmanship. $5. This is actually a really good deal in my opinion. When you go to the carnival, those animals can be like $30 or more. It has a Beanie beanie with the pom-pom things on the end of the beanie and it has this metallic white and gray scarf like holy you need to teach me some fashion little birdie but i bought more of its family we're gonna put you oh no 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 you're too cute you're gonna stay right there let's find your cousins in this box that sounds morbid but that's not what i mean oh shit no that's not your cousin that's a stalker this one is also five dollars to me when i saw this bird and realized it had cousins or siblings or a family on the target website i knew i had to get more than one and i felt like this would be super cute to put on the floor of my fireplace like where the fire goes except i don't have fire these are definitely worth five dollars each and they're so so cute like oh my goodness oh my goodness i found the last member of the pack slightly shorter because no beanie but has really really cute earmuffs right here and a gray scarf man these birds are fashionable i'm definitely keeping them all because they give me happy vibes they spark joy marie kondo would approve of this purchase not really it's not minimal next up i went crazy over this i've never personally seen stockings like this or maybe i lived in a cave my whole life we have this fuzzy wuzzy stocking and i'm so excited to put this up i felt like it would be just a little lonely for the holidays if i had one stocking that's at M. I got more minimal, simplistic, and universal stockings you can use for whatever type of occasion or genre during the Christmas holidays. And what I like about these as well is they're reusable in the sense that like M obviously applies to me and only me, but this I can let a friend or family member use this or keep this, or this can just go anywhere around the house besides the fireplace because it's just so versatile. The price of this is 15 and I would say that is from fair to expensive. I wouldn't consider this cheap at all because I don't have any Christmas decor essentials. I'm definitely keeping this as well. So I have a thing with buying family members of the same product. So we have their cousin or brother. I got this gray ombre stocking as well to add some contrast to the fireplace when I'm hanging them up. And this one is $15 as well. I personally would recommend these as stockings just because they're very, very soft. I'm very excited to hang these side by side like this. I'm gonna put the birds closer to stare at you guys. If you don't like this video, these birds will know. If you guys did not already know, my favorite color is teal. I've always loved teal. As a kid, being a teal lover, I ended up getting this on a whim. I actually don't know if I would keep it because this isn't like the number one thing I would buy, but because it was teal, I gave it a chance and I do love teal. It's pretty much this bus with a Christmas tree on top and it has little cute lights that go around the entire bus. I feel like it's actually pretty well made. Like I think the painting is actually really cute and the way they attach the lights as well. Indoor decorative use only, not a toy, but all the children who go to my house will not know that. Wait, does this drive? This does not drive. 
This is a car that the wheels don't spin, but overall it is a cute piece of decor, not a toy. And this is $10. I would say it's worth the price for what you're getting, but it's not on my priority list. So I would just say not worth it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if this is a return or this is how they package it, but I bought another six foot garland. One of them is packaged beautifully behind me in a box and this one is literally like a snake coming out of the box. I'm just gonna hang this garland around myself to show you guys the details. I feel like I can't take myself seriously when I'm wrapped around a garland. So this one has gold ornaments in addition to other colored ornaments and we also have gold accents and pine cones. This is a $30 garland and it's also six feet so it's pretty much like the first one I reviewed with you guys. If I really had to choose from guessing, I assume I would keep the white garland. As you can see from the previous product reviews, a majority of the things I did order were on the white or the more minimal side. So this would probably be the first garland I would return if I don't end up using it anywhere. Babies of the bird cousins right here. Seeing that I have these, which I really like the size of them, I actually feel like I don't need this, but this is $10. So each bird is like $3.33. That is not as worth it just because they're really, really tiny. And these are more like noticeable when you walk into someone's house you can easily see this this is a maybe it's kind of like the bus where i'm not sure last but not least we have our very final item which is this advent calendar for every single day of december you're gonna move this christmas tree and put it on the day of december so i like the concept of it do i need it not necessarily this is strictly for decor and if i did end up keeping this i would hang it up for sure on the wall on the bottom you have little fun tassels right here and they have different colors i'm not completely sold but I'm also kind of still thinking about it. It's one of those transactions that sit in your cart and you're like, huh, do I want this? Do I need it? This is $20. Oh, that makes each day less than a dollar. I personally don't think this is worth $20, but it's maybe not on my high priority list either. I did buy it because I thought it had a cute concept with the tree. Instead of something that you switch the blocks or the numbers, I kind of like the concept where you move the tree. I think it's a cute concept. And now we're gonna put it all together on the fireplace and mantle for the very first time I've never decorated Christmas decor related corners, fireplaces, mantles in my life. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Let's go. So this is the mess before Christmas. Target box, Target box, Target box, Target box. Oh my address. The Christmas decor is actually gonna go on this mantle and this area. I actually have a TV that wasn't installed yet. So we're just gonna move that TV to the side to do this video. But ideally the TV will be going up there someday. We'll figure it out when. Mantle video is coming first. So TV, we're gonna move you to the side right now. Let's play some Christmas music, and yes, I'm doing the Asian squad. That was literally five minutes. It turned out pretty good. Like I'm happy with it. Very simplistic. By the way, I don't really use a fireplace. It's just a place for decor. So that is the end of my $200 Christmas decor haul from Target. If you guys liked videos like this, you want more product review videos, recipe videos, lifestyle, skincare, you name it, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like button if you like what you see, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'd love it if you guys can join the family. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.